So what we have here, this is a Yamaha Roadstar Warrior 1700cc starter. This is one that was sent to me by a guy. It has burned up. You can see here all kinds of toasty. This is the one that was off of my bike. The original one had about 60,000 miles on it or so. Went out one day and it wouldn't start. Well, take the bolt out there for you. And this, and you'll see why. The magnets come unglued and disintegrated. That's also what happened to this starter. This was sent to me by another guy. I gave him a little bit of money since it went bad. The magnets come unglued. They're not as destroyed as this ball of magnets though. So we're gonna see if we can't make one decent starter from these three. Here we go. We'll start by taking apart this one to look at it a little bit more. These are eight, eight millimeter um, bolts. There's two of them, one on each side. So your brushes are in the back here, so when you pull this off, oh boy, this is burned up. So this was sent to me by a guy. He claimed it was just magnets that were bad with it, but I'm seeing now it's burned up. The This here's got black marks. He's got his it smells like burned. He's got his damn brushes jammed up in here badly. Ooh, this is gonna be work. But this is hard to pull apart because the magnets are holding it. <clears throat> you see that? Now maybe you can look inside here. We got broken, partially broken. So his magnets have come loose, just like mine did. This one here that burned up, he's got bits of broken magnets in here, but uh, his magnets are mostly good. Hopefully you guys can see that. What I'm doing right now is trying to pull these magnets out of here of what's loose. You need to be careful when pulling these out. Well, first of all, they're incredibly freaking strong. But, so here's one that's not glued. It's not broken, but you need to remember which way this came out. So I'm just going to put it on the outside. So I got another one here that's broken in half. That's the only good magnet that's in this one. All the rest of them you can see there are all broken. The trick is going to be getting the magnets off. I don't know how to get them off. Maybe when it stove but this one here has one two three good magnets one broken in half another one that's got a piece broke off of it but I think it'd probably be all right I don't know if you can see that well this one here honestly I am just gonna get the pieces out of this and um, put my good stator in it and I think this one will work So you can see this one that was sent to me, how all the brushes are jammed up in there. They should look like this when you take it apart. They're going to all spring out. So I'm experimenting now. I'm trying to see with that heat gun if I can get in there and heat those magnets up to bust them loose. This is one that magnets are already all broken on. I got the only good one out. It's over here. So I mean if I break one of these magnets it ain't a big deal. We'll uh see how this goes. My heat gun is as high as it'll go which is 1100. I got there's a magnet right there on the inside of that. I don't really have the right gloves but this is just what I got. I wish I had something thicker. So I'm working on one now. This is another one. It has multiple broken magnets in it. I think I can get the magnets loose but what I'm afraid of is they're all gonna come loose because I'm having to apply so much heat to it. Um, I don't really know what I can do about that. The next problem we're gonna have is um, gluing these back in and keeping the clearances. Um, I just noticed too on this burned up one, someone tried to rebuild that at some time. There's all kinds of epoxy and shit on it. That ain't no, ain't no good. So it's been heating up on this one side with a broken magnet. I'm 
Nothing's loose yet. When you heat magnets up too, they lose some of their magneti magnetivity. So I might be actually ruining these magnets when I do this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a new starter out of all this or not. This is an experiment and see how it goes. There it is. Someone had to have tried to reboot this. I've not seen this before. It even smells funky. Not, not like, it's not right. Something's not right with this one. Um, this one came out of here like this, so I'm just gonna, that way I keep the orientation correct. There's another broken one in here. So yeah, I got everything loose. So this is, and it smells like got super glue, or I don't know exactly, but this is what come out of this starter that was sent to me. See that layer of film? That is not supposed to be there. It should come out looking clean like that with dots where they put the, the glue on originally. Someone tried to super glue this is what it smells like. Maybe it's Gorilla Glue. I don't know. It smells just like super glue, but... I got everything loose out of this starter also. I need to pull the last two magnets out. They're loose though. And um, yeah, you can see. I don't know if that starter case is going to be salvageable. It's got glue and shit all over the inside. I've been using my grinder with a wire brush wheel on it to try to clean out the glue that that guy got in here with all of his amazing super glue or whatever it was. It's not perfect, but you can see it's a whole lot better than it was. It's about as clean as I'm going to get it, I think. I mean, I'll clean it out before I glue it, but as far as getting what's on there off, it's about as good as it's going to get. I don't believe I'm going to be able to get it better. And I'm going to do the same to the magnets. So I've just taken all the magnets, cleaned them up as best as I can. I just set them in here and you see they're all touching all the way around and I got that, I don't know, quarter inch gap there. This is what the original one looks like. And you can see that they got about, I don't know if you can see that or not, an eighth inch gap there. I'm getting a quarter inch gap because I got the one magnet here that's broken. Got a bit of the side broken off of it. I'm going to be using JB Weld to glue it. It has a temperature of temperature rating of 500, I think. 550 degrees when cured and 5,000 PSI, which I don't care about so much. But there should be no way that the starter on your engine gets above 500 degrees. If it does, you have an issue with your engine. The trick is here, though, that's why I ground tried as much as I could to clean everything out, is going to be our clearance. These need to set as tight as possible to the housing. That's why I think they only used a couple little dabs of glue from the factory. Um, we'll see how this goes. So I've mixed up the JB Weld. Now the trick is getting them in. And you see they actually, if you look at the other starter, they set proud of this ring on the inside by just a hair. I might even be a little bit too much. Try to tap them down just a little. And I'm just putting dabs of JB Weld on here. I don't want too much because we got to maintain our clearance from the stator. I believe that's... I'm an electrician, but it's been a while, folks. Bear with me. I don't remember all the exact names. Sorry, I forgot to take videos. I got the starter put back together. It spins feels tight. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to let those magnets dry overnight. Um, um, I did end up, I'll show you guys what I used to hold brushes back and this isn't really right. So I make sure I take this shaft off the end so it's open on both ends. This here goes down in your brushes. But you see your brushes are all splayed out. So what I do is I take and shove that one shove a brush up in there and there's these little notches at the bottom of your starter there you can slide 
pieces is a piece of aluminum in and I bend it over and hook it now it holds that brush in and I do that on three of the four and the fourth one I can I use I leave this one that's by the bolt holes and you can hold it back with your finger on the wire I can get it in there these brushes on this one are shot. Someone burned this thing up big time. He kept trying to start it, it would appear like. And it wasn't ready for that. Um, but so once I would get that one in, I would put those three on the other side and you can just slide your into your armature in there and then pull these out. And then you kind of seat it down and it's done. It spins much faster this not mess with starter see it started just fine try it again we glued all together magnets the whole mess Sounds strange. Work, but it, it has a high pitched whine. 